Ladies and gentlemen, this is a two-year review on one of my favorite Doc Martens that I do have out there. It's my Chelsea Boots, the 2976. I enjoy having these Doc Martens. And I'll just be giving you my experience since I've had them almost for two years now. I'll be talking about my first impressions, why I got them. Also, I'll be talking about how I found my Doc Martens size. And then I'll be talking about how I care for these Chelsea Boots. I'll be showing you the soles of these Doc Martens so that you can see how they've been keeping up so far. And lastly, I'll just do a general overview of them. Some pros, some cons, some things that surprise me. So the question is, are these worth it? So my first impressions of these Doc Martin boots, the reason why I got them, like I always say, I just wanted something different. So I decided to go with the crazy horse Chelsea boots without even the Doc Martin stitching or nothing. I just wanted something that was hella different. And believe it or not, I was very surprised. The reason being is because the Crazy Horse Leather might be one of my favorite leathers out there. I'll go more in depth in this later, but man, once I got these, they just look amazing. That brown texture and everything else just made it pop for some reason. When it comes to finding my Doc Martin size, to some people, this can be very challenging. But for me, the easiest and even what I would recommend to a lot of people if you have a Doc Martin store or a store that sells Doc Martin around you, please go there, try some Doc Martens on, see what size fits you, because that's the best way you can find your Doc Martin size. I have videos up here that can assist you in things like that, but I promise you the easiest way to find your Doc Martens is to go to the store and try them out, because that's what I did. When it comes to my Chelsea boots, I already had, what, 1460s, my first pair of Doc Martens. So, I went, tried those on, they fit, I ordered them online, and now with the Chelsea boots, I kind of just got the same size. And when it came in, everything was fine, nothing changed. It felt the same just as my 1460s. So that's how I found my Doc Martin size. Usually for the leather ones, they're pretty much the same thing. But my biggest advice, please try them on before you buy them, especially if you're gonna order them online. Breaking into these Doc Martens was a little unique, simply because you have to break into the leather and then also you have to break into that little elastic thing because the first time I put these on, I think I almost caught a cramp in my calf. Like literally that elastic, it was tight. I'm not gonna lie, it was tight. Trying to wiggle my feet in there and put it in there was difficult. And then taking it off, oh my days, that was another one. It was difficult too. Like that process was interesting, let's just say that. And that kind of made me not put them on as much when I first got them just because I knew I had to like struggle trying to fit, put my foot in there and then struggle trying to take them off. But some of the pain points that I did have with these, like actually breaking them in was, where is it, like the bridge of my foot? That area, for some reason, they were hurting after a while and it was just weird. Like I just felt like there's nothing I can do with that except for just take them off and then put them on when my feet feel better. But that was like my biggest pain point. And I guess the heel part, but that one was not a very big pain point. Also, when it comes to like breaking into these, I don't even know if I recommend two socks because I had one sock, just trying to put my foot in was hard. Imagine having like a thicker socks. How's that gonna compare? But yeah, breaking into these were interesting, but eventually they were broken into. The care for these Doc Martens, they're different. Since they're crazy horse leather for me, I just like every grain and everything that's on there, like the scratches and everything. I just like that character of this leather. So I didn't like damp anything to wipe it off or anything like that, because if you do, your crazy horse leather will get darker. Like that's, I guess, the pro and the con about these, because if you use the Wonder Balsam on there or any type of wax or anything on this type of leather, they will get darker. And I don't want it to get darker. I like the light brown, look and everything like i enjoy just how scuffed up my chelsea boots look literally for me it's character this is the sole of these they still look good i mean at one point i just felt like i was wearing these everywhere literally dress up dress down they have that smart casual look to it that made it seem like oh i'm trying to dress up even though i'm not but these the sole still look good the sole comfortable after you break them in or even from day one but the sole the airwear soles good no problem with them so far they're holding up the stitching everything is good i really like them overall i really like these doc martens these are 
one of my favorite Doc Martens, the Chelsea boots, is because I do like Chelsea boots, but on top of that, the crazy horse leather just gives it that extra oomph that I do like. It just shows the character of it, and it just looks unique. Like sometimes whenever I do go out, since this Doc Martens don't have that iconic Doc Martens stitching around it, some individuals ask me, oh, what are those? They look nice, they look, you know, clean. Like some people haven't seen something like that before. And then I tell them, or I'll show like that tab at the back, and they're like, oh yeah, they're Doc Martens. Probably the only cons that I would say is like that elastic. I mean, I'm sure every Chelsea boots have that elastic thing that you have to get through. Cause I know like that first week of putting it on, taking it off, man, talk about a whole exercise, just trying to take them things off and then put them back on. It was not easy, but I got over it. Now the elastic is not as strong, but it's still good enough. It fits me that I'm not struggling to put them on or take them off. And then also, I know if you're watching this video, you like rocking Chelsea boots. Check out this video where you'd be surprised what they say about Chelsea boots.